Okay, I'm back. The downstairs is cleared out, so I'll just do it now. And let's see. To start, I'm going to do one little thing that I like to do based on some real houses, and that's basically just building out this little thing here with the uh the dark wood slabs on top of it. It's something I've seen in a couple of wheel houses, and I like the way it looks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I usually don't on the wall, you know, around it, just on the front and back. Because that cuts down on the space if I were to do it the whole way around. And it's just, eh, eh. I find it funny that uh, a lot of these multi-family buildings I've made the townhomes and the apartments, they always end up having more space to them than the actual single family houses. <laughs> Fewer bedrooms, but more space total. At least I think, I don't know, it just seems seems bigger than most of the other ones, and I, I think that's partially an issue of scale, because I made one fairly large house, maybe I'll show it at the end of this video, and compared to the ones around it, it just looks huge, you know, just gargantuan. Like it does not belong at all. And that's, you know, it's, it's scale. Scale. One thing looks substantially bigger than everything else in the area. It's not going to be good, I guess. So as you can see, I'm just replacing the dirt with wool to represent your, you know, your generic white walls. You can replace it with some other material, or not even replace it at all. It's it's ultimately your choice. That's kind of the theme with a lot of these houses, is that they're fairly, you know, highly customizable. The choice is yours. You can do this, you can do that. There's a lot to do within the general frame, I guess. So now we're going to make a ceiling for this lower floor, which is also going to be the floor of the upstairs. And I'm doing it white because, you know, ceilings that are pretty much any other color than white just look weird. I mean, unless it's like a off-white or eggshell or whatever, that's fine. But, uh, you know, I, I guess uh, with the advent of carpet and stuff, coming next update, you know, maybe it'll... I don't know where I'm going with this, but, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of next update, though, I am very disappointed that the uh, the colored wood that was evidently in the pipeline got scrapped in favor of something. I don't know what that something is, but from the picture I've seen, it looks like manure or something to that effect. I don't know what it is, what purpose it serves. Maybe more info will be revealed later, but... If I had the choice between that and colored wood, barring any sudden changes or whatever, I would choose wood. Now, yeah, everything upstairs looks good. Let's go ahead and choose some carpet for the downstairs, and I go with this brown sort of thing. Why? Well, because in the 80s, when these sort of houses were being built, Carpet that was pretty much any other color than just off-white was actually pretty popular. My grandma's house, for example, has this really bright rust red or brown sort of carpet. It's very plush. It's held up fairly decently over the years. And I've seen other similar stuff, too. Including this weird material that uh, I guess was designed to look like some sort of cobblestone floor or something. I thought it was pretty cool, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. And, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> the stuff in this apartment building I was in once, it was like this nasty half final, half carpet stuff. It was, you know, of course it was stained. Oh, gross looking. It was probably the original stuff from the 70s or the 60s. I wouldn't want that in or near my home, personally, but, you know. Times change and so do people's tastes. Let's go ahead and put in a door and this little bit covering it. And now the downstairs is basically finished. Put in this too. 
more glowstone and there you go so now we move on upstairs where we put in more glowstone to light the place up let's see so that's two from, from up there. and then another repair here and there okay and what I like to do with kitchens and such is put this little sort of divider here in the middle let me yeah there we go okay and just do this kind of make these little archways or whatever for kitchen and uh, why not put up a painting that's fun apparently a glitch in this version of the game is that you can't place paintings but uh, I've been able to do so perfectly fine. I don't know if I'm just unusually lucky or if that's just like on Mac or whatever. I don't know. So what we're going to do with this window is a little fun thing I've been doing lately. It's uh, basically make it into a sort of greenhouse deal. Where you can put some potted plants or, you know, this or that, some knickknacks, mob heads or whatever else. Or if you're using like a mini block mod, you know, something with that. Some little decorative figurine or something, I don't know. Creativity. Yeah, so there's that little ledge there. And so now we're going to make the kitchenette. Which includes my standard uh, kitchen complement of a stove, crafting bench, and a chest. Well, actually, I guess I should put the chest on the other side. That kind of gets in the way of the little entryway there. Okay, and then we're going to put some water in here. And there's our sink slash item disposal. Let's throw it in there. Out of sight, out of mind. They all despawn eventually, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is pretty much finished. We got the vaulted ceiling, the dining room, all that fun stuff. So we're going to work on the bedroom now, just going to do this too, well actually no, let's, let's go with a bit of a sloped sort of thing here, there we go, yeah, okay, so let's put some glowstone in the middle here for lighting, and that's really about all there is to it, you can add in pretty much whatever, decorations, you know, storage space, shelves, on that note, let's go ahead and make a little dresser here. Put some, uh, some whatchamacallits, yeah, trap doors on the front. Oh, well, yeah. I suppose that's fine, yeah. And we'll put stairs on either side. And, oop, and, oop. Let's do this here, there we go, okay. And we'll put some torches on there as, I guess, lamps or something like that. And, uh, mob head, I guess, why not? There we go. Maybe put up a picture, too. See if we can get a 2x2 two two here. No. It's always when I, there you go. See, it's always when I, like, put it off to the side. Maybe that's the painting glitch that they're talking about. Maybe that they always have these janky placements. But yeah, you get the idea. Lots of freedom. You know, you could even build out like a little walk-in closet to hang over the garage. Yeah, I may as well do that actually. And you just uh, boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. okay. Let's get back into the house here. I forgot to put in the door. Okay, and back in here. I go ahead and actually, I guess this isn't as much a walk-in closet as it is just built-in shelves. Now we're just gonna. Oh, oh, there we go. Nice storage space. Let's do another set and then fill in that back there in the garage. There we go. And speaking of the garage, I suppose I should put in a glowstone in here to light the place up. Yeah, okay. And there you go. There's your bedroom. Put a bed down. Home sweet home.
put some furniture in the main room, some couches, maybe some modded stuff like TVs and what have you. Now we're going to work a bit on the outside, starting with the garage. This is just going to be real simple here. We're going to replace the garage floor with stone, or, you know, any material of your choice. If you want to use sandstone, cobble, whatever, go for it. Yep, just like this here. And around here. Okay, there we go. Alright, so that's the garage flooring. And let's put in the garage doors now. I just like to do them with iron doors and pressure plates so that they're basically functional. If you want to put like a pig or in the next update a horse in there, you can ride on out. That'll be fun times. And now let's work on the deck. It's going to be fairly simple here. Put it, you know, maybe a 4 by 3, I want to say. That's usually it. It's either 2 by uh, 4 by 2, rather, or 4 by 3. Yep. So these are just going to be fairly small, but you have a nice back yard to work with, so I guess that's kind of a trade-off. And we're going to put some stairs there. Wood stairs. Whoop, oh, oh. There we go. Put another bit of fence there, and there you go. That's half of a twin home. Well, let me put some gravel underneath here. Okay. Put that under there. Well, let me just go ahead and dig down. That makes it a bit easier. And I'm all about easy things. If it's easy, I like it. People talk about, oh, that's too easy, that's boring. Oh. I don't... Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a sore loser who doesn't like challenges, but I get bored when things are too hard. <clears throat> it's like, well, I can't do this, so <laughs> why bother stressing trying to, you know, figure it out? But anyway, yeah, so just to top this off a bit, we're going to go ahead and add in a bit of gravel here, which I guess is like the sort of kind of maintenance-free landscaping, quote-unquote, that a lot of these places have. So yeah, it just adds a bit of a transition between, you know, the side of the house and the actual ground. <clears throat> Put in a small concrete area leading up to the door. Then we'll add in the driveway in a bit here. But yeah, that's basically half of a twin home. You can use MC Edit or you can build it yourself or whatever to get the other half, as I will do in a brief moment. Let me go ahead and fix that there, this straggler. Yep. And one more. I always miss one or two of these blocks when I'm building, but yeah, there you go. That's basically the half complete package, and I'll be back in a minute with the whole package. Okay, so I'm back after using MC Edit to basically fill in the driveway and create the second half of the house here. And this is what it looks like finished. Got uh, one on the uh, one side there and the other on the other. And uh, yeah, that's really about it. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's really all there is to this little uh, build through or let's build or whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, well, I guess we can just do a final once over of the completed pair. As you can see, I put in a tree there just for fun, I guess. Turning off the smooth lighting kind of reminds me of like the really early like beta and alpha versions when smooth lighting didn't exist at all. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, that's about the gist of it. Uh, now you have your completed twin home. There's a lot you can do with them, you know, decor and facade-wise. You can do wool as the main material. You can use tree trunks and stuff. But yeah. Yeah. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or comment or subscribe or whatever. If you didn't like the video, then, you know, please leave feedback too. 
I'd like to know what I can do better, you know, within reason, of course. But yeah, I like uh, like to hear from people. Critique, positive or negative, when it comes to my work, you know. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, and see you next time.